まあまあ。That's a lot of debt. Another government bailout could be on the way. According to new reports, the city of Detroit will need more of your tax dollars to keep the city's pension fund afloat. $100 million of it, just to be accurate. But is this the best course of action? Lucy Caldwell of the Goldwater Institute says absolutely not, and she joins us now to dive into it. Lucy, nice to see you this morning. Great to see you. What is going on in Detroit? Why do they need $100 million more than the money that's already been sent there to help them out? Good question. Well, I like to think of it this way. Detroit is a drug addict saying, hey, I'm going to get clean. I just need one last fix. And what we're learning this week is that the Obama administration is not only willing to be Detroit's back alley enabler, they're going to do it to the tune of $100 million in American federal tax dollars that we're supposed to be helping families facing foreclosure. Right. And so this money hasn't been dispersed properly. And an issue, of course, are these pensions and large, uh, large pensions that haven't been paid out. The local politicians are on Stuart Varney yesterday on the show arguing this is really a backdoor way of giving them a bailout. The, the Obama administration won't come forward and say straight up, hey, we're going to be bailing out Detroit again. But we're going to kind of do it in this uh, backdoor alley kind of way. Is that accurate? It absolutely is. There's a federal fund, a federal treasury fund. It came from TARP, of all things, called the Hardest Hit Fund. It was an $8 billion fund to 18 states in the District of Columbia. Michigan received about $500 million of those, of those dollars, and they've spent about $100 million. It was supposed to help people getting through a rough patch to get, make sure they didn't get foreclosed upon. Last year, Michigan got permission from the feds to start using this for blight remediation, you know, uh, shuttered facilities, things like that. But now they're going to use this money to shift it uh, to blight remediation so that they can shift in turn a different hundred million dollars to pay for Detroit's unfunded pensions. And the blight that I'm seeing around here that needs remediation is the decades of fiscal irresponsibility by Detroit politicians and their friends in big labor who got Detroit in this mess in the first place. Right, so paying for pensions that were never affordable in the first place. Is Detroit really just the tip of the iceberg? Are we going to see this in other cities? That's been, some people have argued that. I don't know if we've exactly seen that in some other cities just yet, but will we see it? Clayton, that is exactly what the fear is here. Detroit is the tip of the iceberg. They have three and a half billion in unfunded pension liabilities. That seems like a lot, but it's nothing compared to our nationwide unfunded pension liability of cities and counties to the tune of half a trillion dollars. And it's cities that would surprise you. It's not just the Chicago's and Philadelphia's of the world. It's also Omaha, Nebraska. Hmm. All of these places are hurling toward a Detroit style situation with their pension funds. And are we going to be bailing those cities out? I think that would set a very dangerous precedent. If we don't bail them out, then what is the answer? Well, uh, look, basically what's going on in Detroit is they're trying to avoid bankruptcy. Kevin Orr, the city manager there, is on a fundraising campaign. He's raised over $800 million so far, and he needs to raise about $500 million more. And of all things, one of the things Detroit is trying to avoid is selling off their multi-million dollar uh, city-owned art, their Matisse's, their Van Gogh's, which, by the way, are a lot more valuable than this hardest hit fund that the Obama administration is going to use. So bankruptcy is kind of a dirty word, but it shouldn't be. It's just cities, a city coming toward its creditors, in this case, the unions and the pension systems, and saying, hey, look, this is what we've got in the honeypot. Can we work something out? But what's going on here is that the unions and pension holders, they don't want to work something out, even though they got Detroit in this situation in the first place. Hmm. Unbelievable. Lucy Caldwell from the Goldwater Institute. Uh, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you.